So let's do another example and we're going to look at a different way that we can work with our two different forms of lines and equations, slope intercept form and point slope form. So we have a line with a slope of one half passing through the point three and negative two. What forms can you use to write the equation of that line? What is the equation of that line? So we know we can somehow get to slope intercept form, even though we don't have the y intercept, but we can figure that out. We also just learned how to do point slope form. And if we look, we're given the slope and we're given a point. Now you need to recall, and you're gonna to wanna to memorize this, the more you practice, just kind of get it to stick in your head. Um, writing, 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 practice, practice. That formula was y minus y1, y1 being our y point value. If that equals our slope times x minus x1. So x1 being this, okay. So let's substitute these in. y minus y1 is negative two. You, you, this formula calls for the negative. So you don't just go, oh, well, it's already there. I just need to put a two. No, it's y minus that y value. So you need to put another negative because it's attached to the two. That changes things. Remember, this is the change in the y values. This is the change in the x values. And to get change, we have to subtract them. The slope is one half. So we're gonna multiply that times x minus x1. X minus x1 is three. So we put the three there. Now let's rewrite this, cause we're not gonna leave, we know that when we subtract a negative, we're actually adding a positive, right? And I don't know if you remember from last year, but um, subtraction means adding the opposite of the second number. So let's bring down the rest. Now this is our equation in point slope form. If you look, we've got everything we need and it's there. We don't distribute, it's in factored form. It's called factored form. Let's look at how we can write it in slope intercept form. We know the slope, so we do y, remember slope intercept form first of all is y equals mx plus b. We know the slope is a half. We don't know the intercept, the y-intercept. Well, why don't we just come over here and solve for y? This is the y-intercept. These y's, um, this, we can solve for y and get the y-intercept, okay? Um, so, sorry, scratch that. These y's represent the output of whatever's happening to x. So what happens is if we can get this into y equals mx plus b, we can see what the y-intercept is. So we're gonna isolate y. Let's subtract two on both sides. We get y equals one half times x minus three minus two. Now let's distribute because this does not have parentheses. We wanna distribute that. So we get one half x, half of negative three is negative one and a half, right? Minus two, so this is gonna be minus three and a half. So our final in slope intercept form is one half x, minus 3.5. Now we've gotten these to look the same. So we can see that our y-intercept is negative three and a half. And so now we can write that also in slope intercept form. So the overall gist guys is if you're given a slope and a point, write your equation in point slope form, okay? Then use your 
um, property, skills and properties, distributive property, you know, being able to rewrite equations, use those skills to get it into slope intercept form, and then you'll know this, the y intercept. Pretty sweet. Okay, let me clear this. So I want you to try these now. Um, I'll give you a head start on the first one. This is something that we did when in the, you know, in the last unit or the last lesson where we were given two points and we needed to find the slope. Um, and we could write this in slope intercept form. So just or finding the slope first. So remember it's the change slope is the change y2 minus y1. So this one minus this one divided by x2 minus x1, this one minus that one. So let's plug these in. 3 minus 1 over 2 minus negative 4. Okay, that minus still applies, so you have to put the negative 4 separately. This is the same as 2 over 2 plus 4 is 6, which gives us a slope of 1 third when we simplify it. Now, we can write this in point slope form. We have the slope, we have a point, and it doesn't matter which one you pick, you just pick one. So I'm gonna do y minus, I'll just pick this first one just to keep my uh, process the same. y1 was one, okay? So keep that the same. Um, you're gonna get y minus one equals slope, times x minus x1, negative four. Simplify that right side and it's plus four. And there is your equation in point slope form. So follow these steps and try it here. And then uh, pause the video first and then come back and check your answer. So if you ended up with y plus one equals negative four fifths for the slope times x minus two, give yourself a super sweet high five. Um, you're gonna continue on with the lesson and we're gonna get lots of practice with comparing our point slope to our graphs so that you can really make those great connections about how to look at a graph and find the point slope.